So one of the biggest complaints I've seen people in the Weiss Schwartz community have is that there's no good way to play Weiss online, and therefore there is no good way to proxy decks and no way to test any deck that you don't own. However, this is untrue. Tabletop Simulator exists, and it is very good for Weiss. It is obviously not perfect, however, there is no reason to write it off as a joke way of playing Weiss online. Uh, Tabletop Simulator is currently about $20 on Steam. It's a little steep for a basic simulation game. However, it's worth it if you ask me, and even if you don't think so, it frequently goes on sale. I remember I got my copy through a Humble Bundle, and the Humble Bundle was like $3, if I remember right. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing here today is I'm going to be showing you how to import a deck into the game. That way you can play with your friends. So first thing you want to do is obviously buy Tabletop Simulator, and then have it downloaded next and um, next and most important thing is you need to have a file set of all of the images of the cards that you're going to be using in whichever deck you plan on building so it you just need one image of every card that's in your deck uh, best places to get that the card list on the official english weiss site is good for english images and then Yuyute has really good scans of any Japanese cards. I already have a deck ready to go here, so I'm not going to bother showing you how to save a image to a file. So after you have all of your images saved to whatever folder that you're going to be saving them to, uh, navigate to your library through Steam here, right-click on Tabletop Simulator, go to Manage, Browse Local Files, go to Modding, and then to the Deck Builder. The Deck Builder is going to show you this uh, executable file here of a deck editor. I've already made a shortcut on my desktop as I've made quite a few decks and just want didn't feel like going through this entire process over and over again. So after you open up the deck editor, you will pick new deck. Your deck size here is going to be, uh, this is going to set for a grid. So you're going to want to set that to 10 by 5 so it makes exactly fit, uh, a 50 card grid. After you have that, you're going to open up wherever, uh, you're going to open up whatever file that you saved all of your images to. And you can, pull, uh, you can drag these in one by one for whatever deck that you wanted to build. And you're going to do that for all, uh, all cards in your deck until your deck is done. One thing I have to mention, though, is some sites that you grab images off of will have the climaxes laying sideways. Uh, the way to fix this, you just right-click and go to Edit. And then you can rotate it until it looks correct. I'm not going to save this as I already have it correct right here. I'm not going to bother saving this. However... Uh, as I already have the, I'm not going to bother saving this as I already have the deck saved for what uh, what I'm about to do. Uh, so go to File. If you click Save Deck here, it's going to save it to the deck builder itself. Unfortunately, there is no link between the deck builder and the Tabletop Simulator itself. Uh, so you're going to, so in order to actually use your deck, you're going to need to export it. So just click export here, save it as whatever file name that you need. I've already saved this right here, so no need for me to save it again. I'll exit out of here, deny saving that. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Tabletop Simulator. Uh, I'm going to let it load here real quick. It's being a little slow. I'm going to minimize it out. or I'm not going to minimize it. I'm going to make the window a little bit smaller so my frame doesn't my frame rate doesn't drop exponentially so after we have tabletop simulator opened up here uh, we're going to go to create and we're going to create a single player game just so we can make this deck uh, so after we are here we can go to objects right here go to components cards and then custom deck this is going to open up this prompt right here 
So where it says face right here, you're going to want to go. Uh, uh, you're going to want to go through whatever files you have here to get to that image that you exported earlier, and select that. You're going to want to make sure you save it to the cloud. Otherwise, your uh, your opponent will not be able to see your cards. And if your opponent can't see your cards, it's going to make playing a game very hard. Just uh, upload it to whatever file. And then for back, uh, this is going to be your actual card back. I just have the standard Weiss card back set here. But you can upload whatever you want to use basically as sleeves. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Also remember to upload that to the cloud. Uh, so width and height, that's going to be the same width and height that you used on the grid, so 10 by 5. And then the number is the number of cards in your deck, so 50. After that, click Import, and it will have your deck all set right here. Whoops, I apparently made two decks. Uh, so this is your 50 card deck that you made right here. So this is going to create the object for a one-time use thing. But obviously, you're not going to be wanting to use your deck just one time. Or maybe you don't. I won't judge. Uh, so all you have to do to make sure this gets saved, uh, just right-click it. and uh, Highlight over your deck. Right-click it. Click Save Object, and then save it as whatever you want. Say this is Sal here. Save. I've, uh, if you've already got a deck saved of the same name, it'll ask you to overwrite it. I'll just go ahead and overwrite that. And this is going to allow you to uh, go to save saved objects and load in whatever deck that you built. So now I have two decks here, and that's all you need to do to up uh, to upload a deck into Tabletop Simulator and start playing. Uh, the tutorial on this game is very good. It will tell you everything that you need to know to get started playing Weiss on Tabletop Simulator. There are some like more complex uh, actions you can take in the game, but they are not necessary. They are just quality of life changes. Everything that you need to know will be explained in the tutorial, and the tutorial takes maybe five minutes to play. So one thing I will recommend doing for playing the game, uh, up here it has a little degree symbol. Uh, it will automatically default to 50, uh, uh, sorry, 15. Uh, you need it to be set to 90, and if you have it set to 90, it will rotate the cards 90 degrees for every time that you press rotate. And with that, it will make it a lot easier to actually play the game. So you'll see if I have it set to 15 here, I have to click the, I have to click the rotate button several times just to get it tapped. But if I have it set to 90, they automatically tap the right amount every time. So the last thing you're going to need to get for this is an item on the Steam Workshop. So on the Steam Workshop, there is a, an app called Y Short Setup. This automatically gives you t uh, a two-player mat to play with your friend and... All of the zones will lock uh, lock your cards into place. So I will go ahead and boot up a game here with it. So I will create another game. I'll go to single player. Uh, so here is the workshop item that I have right here. I'll load this up and load in a deck. So with this, uh, I'll just flip my deck. Even if I'm a little off to the side here and I let go, It'll lock into place, and it does the same thing over here. Or there we go. I was a little bit off that last time. So, for whenever you want to be playing with friends, it's very easy to set up a multiplayer game. Uh, you just go to create multiplayer, then you can set whatever server name you want, and then your password. Uh, you can set your max players if you want spectators. I usually have it set to two just because I only want to be playing with one other person. Uh, and that's that's really it. It's really that easy to play Weiss online. There's not much excuse unless you just don't have the money to be buying the game, in which case 
don't buy the game. Go spend that on food or something. Uh, I hope you all found this video helpful, and I hope that you will share this with any of your friends that want to play online. I would love to grow the tabletop simulator community for Weiss, as there are not a whole lot of people that are playing it, uh, playing the game on tabletop simulator, and it is way too good to be passing up. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thank you. Subscribe. Goodbye.